Hi Reagan. It is Monday. It is currently 15:42 p.m. Um if you haven't noticed, I cover my head with things when I don't feel like fixing my hair or when my hair is bad. So, um I'm not drinking tea today. I have I had some green tea this morning, but I'm just drinking water right now. Um but if it counts, I have a mug over there filled with popcorn. So, um, I am sick. I thought I was allergic to the pine trees in Tyler, but allergies tend to get better once you leave the allergen infected area. And I'm feeling worse than I was yesterday. So thinking about my current sickness ended up reminding me of another time that I was sick. Uh, this was just before the onset of the beloved COVID-19. Uh, so spring of 2020 and um you might have you might remember that i took a trip down to texas a and m college station with some cap friends we got to spend the night with the corps cadets and learn about the program and the school and all that good stuff after the event my mom and i decided to spend the night in a hotel because we didn't want to drive back exhausted and we thought that maybe we'd explore the town a little bit um but as soon as i got back after the event which was like after lunchtime i ended up crashing on the couch. It, it had been a pretty intense and nerve-wracking experience and I had stayed up late talking with some friends so I was pretty tired, pretty sleep deprived. I was also having major stomach issues and like sore throat, stuffy nose, headache, all that kind of stuff. I've had some pretty low moments but that trip in the hotel room I think it was probably like Sunday, Saturday, was, that might be the sickest I've ever felt. There's a lot of really fun memories associated with that trip. I got to bond with a lot of friends and um, I got to see and like experience a lot of things that I had never seen before. And I got to like kind of spend a day living a college life, which was so much fun. Um, but when I think about that memory, I also think about the trip there and how panicked I was on the on the drive there. I left after my last co-op class, probably ASL, um, on Friday. And I remember like having a meltdown, like breakdown material in the car. During this time, I was in the middle of my biology class. And you know that that was just kind of absolutely hellish. I love biology now, but it was a really hard class. And I was kind of just generally burn out and I probably hadn't been getting enough sleep for several weeks. I don't have quite like a solid point here, but when I, <coughs> excuse me, um, in trying to find something good to say, it got me thinking about how nice breaks can be. I think that, you know, special trips or cool events or whatever can be a really nice break from, you know, a hard time in your normal life even if the break itself is like kind of stressful or not super relaxing i'm thinking about all of like the small trips i've taken to kansas or the few to hooks or even like just spending the night at a friend's house you know like prom or or dungeons and dragons um it's like when you go somewhere especially when you spend the night or go on a long road trip when you go somewhere separated from your normal life everything else just kind of seems to fade away. That biology class was a major stressor in my life for like eight weeks or however long it was. But in the A&M trip was kind of just as stressful. You know, I was socially, it was very, in, very intense, very stressful. And I never really, I was never really alone. So I could never like, you know? So that trip was really stressful too, but some, it, distracted me from the major stressor in my life, school and biology. Um, and just being distracted from that major stressor, the real, the real stressor was a nice break, even if I didn't know it was. I didn't have time to think about the major stressor in my life because I was so busy and, you know, stressed about other things that were kind of different. I guess, I guess it's just when you're stressed, even being stressed about something else can be nice. So um, the lesson that I take from this is that we need to take a lot of trips this summer, like little small ones, 
because they're fun and it's stress reducing even if it's still stressful you know so i guess you can never have a bad vacation because even if it's stressful you're distracted from your life's life stress so no stress i hope you have a good day i hope you don't stress and we need to go fishing again soon goodbye i love you goodbye